So um, only murders in the building. We've yeah, all seen. Okay, why don't you guys talk about that? I, oh, you know, I have did not, not seen that. You have no, not seen I did it. not. No. But yeah, what, why don't you guys talk about that? That's Hulu, right? Yeah. yeah. How many did you watch, Ronald? I watched. I watched the first three. Me too. So we're caught um, up. My first Sounds thought good. is yeah, no, 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 no. My first thought is like this is doing something that I only really felt when I was watching Bored to Death which is like one of my favorite shows, HBO show. If go back and watch it if you have HBO Max. Just this like, these odd pairing of people kind of trying to make things happen and their it's, egos. It's, it's, these, are, it's these privileged yes, New Yorkers that live yeah. in a bubble that you would think would be uncompelling to watch because yeah. we don't really find yeah. those people very interesting in conversation or in but life, they are, man. but they're funny. And Steve Martin and Martin Short and Selena Gomez, they're all, I think they're all great. Like I honestly thought the tone of this show was going to be more geriatric, a little bit oh, more, okay. a little bit more like, oh, Steve Martin and Martin Short are doing something, you know, yeah. like, I honestly, yeah. but it's more than that. Like, I feel like wh whoever else is working on it or, or Steve Martin, you know, he's a pretty smart guy, but it's like, it's self-aware. It's not 100% like the hippest thing you've ever seen, but it has a kind of hipness to it. And it has a kind of, I mean, when you mentioned bored to death, it's got that kind of quirky New York, yeah. only in New York kind of thing of these people, this assemblage of characters, you know, a, a former actor, a former Broadway producer and a, and a young woman who's like living in her aunt's apartment. Yeah. In this apartment building and the other people as well, but the three leads, they're fun to watch together. And there's just some fun, like after the third episode, uh, you know, uh, like my, my wife just turned to me and said, that's this is a pretty fun show. And I was like, yeah. you know, that's I was expecting it to be kind of amusing and I was expecting to kind of get wrapped up in it just because I like the people in it. But I didn't expect it to be quite so like enjoyable in that way of just like yeah. it's I don't know. So that's what I meant about thinking it might be kind of geriatric. I thought it would feel like, you know, when people come back and do something and you kind of pat them on right. the back for doing something. But it feels like, right. no, th they're getting and even all the observations about true crime podcasts and stuff, because they're trying to make a true crime podcast. That stuff is fun. I mean, it's like they keep repeating the joke of like, oh, say that again. I, I want to get a better recording of it. But I yeah. feel like it's I feel like there's a humor to that. And I feel like Martin Short and Steve Martin's rapport is so funny. And if you've seen them do comedy appearances together, you know that they just bust each other's chops nonstop in that kind of catty old timey showbiz way of like two old actors yeah. that are kind of vain. Yeah. And they do that just beautifully. And there's just like scenes where like they'll be walking out of a room and like Martin Short will turn to Steve Martin and say, does anybody like you? You know, it's just it's just <laughs> it's that kind of thing where it's the sort of like, uh, I don't know, the kind of uh, sparring lovers comedy team um, is is like that energy. I think that it's 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 given the show a certain kind of vibe that it wouldn't have with with any other performers in it. I don't think so. Yeah, it's legitimately one of the best comedies I've seen, period. I mean, like it there's something about what's happening so the, to let the steam off of like the the geriatric stuff is is these two men older men trying to communicate with selena gomez and that's that's what that part is that's where all that steam is kind of left out you know kind of ex exerted there's it, that one line where, where they're about to call her about something and then the text and, then, message and, and then martin short says they don't like calls for some reason. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we know that he means young people. We know yeah. that he means young people. And then Steve Martin is kind of pleased with himself and says, yeah, this feels like a text. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I don't know how to greet her. So he says like, to her like, yeah. aloha, aloha. <laughs> and it's like with like a, a sign off, you know, with love or whatever, sincerely. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, again, but there's not too much of that. They don't overdo that joke. Of no, them being no. It's a fairly realistic portrayal. Of, and the other thing I, I, I realized this and I said this to my wife, too, it's like, I was kind of realizing one of the things I was enjoying about it is she's like 20 and they're like 75 or something. Mm -hmm. And there's 0% Woody Allen creepiness. Zero, yeah, yes, zero percent. Zero. Yeah. These are these are actual grown men, you yeah. know, uh, and not not weird man children. And I think that's something that you can attribute to the performers and to Steve Martin's imagination, probably. But I love that there's none of that leering lasciviousness that yeah. you know what you wouldn't have even thought about maybe in the past but now i think it would especially it would seem really like nails on a chalkboard so yeah it's it's doing something really special and like it's it's being so self-aware really does lend itself to like some like some cool jokes that really 
are pretty rewarding as the, as the show progresses. So, and Sting, and <laughs> Sting, who I said is turning into Malcolm McDowell, and I didn't mean that in like a a, a insulting him thing. Like, if you okay, look see, at him in Doom, he I, looks I think- like. He's he's turning into Malcolm McDowell, but also I think he and Jude Law are somehow turning into the same person. <laughs> and and I don't know, but Terrence Stamp is involved somehow. I don't know what how he's involved. No, I get Stamp it. Is I involved, get it. But yeah, no, I get it. So Steve, I would check it out, man. I think you'd like it. it it's no, like yeah, I, definitely. It's, if, it's it's on the list, man. I can't wait to see it. If you've ever like, if you've ever like been in a place with a lot, so I. I lived in this one apartment building that was downtown near the the, the Pratt Free Library on uh, Pratt. Uh, what was it wasn't Pratt, but it was like where the main it's Enoch Pratt, isn't it? Enoch Pratt, yeah, the main yeah. library downtown. Right. And this apartment building was very similar to that man. Like it's like this, all these personalities. Like when some, the fire extinguisher would get like you know the the fire alarm would go off if you touched a fire extinguisher, right? We came downstairs and it's like all these personalities, people that have been there for like 30 years, people that have been there for six months, and they all have these like strong opinions about what people do. Like, yeah, the, right. the man above me is, his trash smells like shit and he, he always puts it out. It's like all these opinions. And I, and I hadn't, I wouldn't have appreciated that until I got a little older and you you become a curmudgeon after a while. Like mm-hmm. no matter how much you try, you do become sort of. You can even be a hip one, but you yeah. wind up being like, man, that little thing that that person did five minutes ago is like killing me. You think about it all day, it's like, and you and you don't get much of a chance to compare notes with your neighbors. So you're right when you're all standing out on the sidewalk. <laughs> there's a split second where you're you're getting to talk to somebody that you've glimpsed in the hall before. Yeah, no, there's yeah. an interesting thing about that. Yeah, man. Um, and you're right. It does feel like that that like eccentric that mix of people that might be in a in an old apartment building. Yeah. It really does pave the way for some like there's people that you only know through weird things like their trash yes. stinks or it always smells like they're cooking something weird in there or whatever. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. So it's it's worth it's worth giving it a try, man. Yeah. Only murders in the building. 